Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Nate. I'm the co-founder of Epiphany.io, along with my other co-founder, um, Milad. And what we actually created is a Google Sheets add-on that will allow you to import any API into Google Sheets using either a JSON file or a CSV file. Um, what I'm actually going to do today is I'm actually going to show you how to use our Epiphany add-on to import YouTube API data into Google Sheets. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to go to console.developers.google.com. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually create a new project. Um, for Usually in the left-hand side, it'll tell you to um, create a new project. But for me, since it's already created, um, I'll go ahead and use that project that I already have created. But for you, you're probably going to select new project. Once you create that new project and name it to, you know, import YouTube API or anything similar like that, you go ahead and click on Enable APIs and Services. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to search for the YouTube Data API. So let's type in YouTube Data API. Bam, there it is. Now we're going to go ahead and enable. And let's give that a second to load. It's done loading. You're actually going to go to the left-hand side here on where it says overview metrics, quotas, credentials. You're going to click on credentials and you're going to create those credentials. And on the down, on the drop down, click API key. Now, once you have your API key, you're going to go to the G Suite marketplace and download the epiphany.io um, Google Sheets add-on. If you haven't downloaded it already, then go ahead and do that now. And if you had, go ahead and continue with the video. All right, now that you have the add-on installed, I'm going to show you how to put it into the Google Sheets add-on. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the URL, and I'll have a link in the description below, of how to um, call your query. Now, I already have that URL here, so I'm going to go ahead and click Edit. I'll select All, and then I will copy that into the API importer. Yeah, you don't need any headers because the API key is already there. Um, you don't have to append anything because it's a blank Google Sheet right now. Um, you could prefix the row with this with, with the date so you know when that um, query was ran. Um, but since I don't need to do any of that for the sake of the example right now, I'm just going to go ahead and click Run. Go ahead, click Run. And bam, the queries are in there. Now, some of these parameters are required, so make sure you add them to, for your request to work properly. Um, for instance, many imports may require you to provide a value snippet or um, a part parameter. So for authenticated requests, you'll need your API key for those uh, different parameters. And that's really it, guys. Um, it's pretty simple, very easy. Barely had to do any code. All you had to do was get your API key and you know take the URL that I'll have in the description below, and then um, you'll be able to import your YouTube data into uh, Google Sheets. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to go to our site. Um, you know we have a, we have a live chat on there. It goes directly to us. So um, if you have any questions, just let us know. If you don't have any questions, then hopefully we get to you know uh, you know meet again with another uh, API video. Talk to you guys soon.